In this clip, Sandy Matt speaks on why many developers frown upon OO and what to do about it. Uh, speculative generality. I'm going to ask you to raise your hands again. Who in here has ever written some code for a feature you thought might arrive in the future? Keep your hands up for a minute. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm going to out myself with you here. Who in here has ever, after many months of working around that code, ripped it out and thrown it away? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are bad guessers. And, and uh, you know, I love OO. I love object-oriented design. It's a thing that really interests me. But this, this thing of speculative generality where we say, I'm going to do something really cool in my code for some feature that I think we might need later, this is why people say bad things about OO. Right? This is what they blame us for. It's primarily things in that category. You have to be right. So the, the few times that you are right have to really be big wins to outweigh the enormous cost of being wrong. Code is read many more times than it is written. Uh, the, cost, the, cost that we, the, the, the reason that we cost money is the time we spent reading code. And if you add generality, you increase the level of abstraction of code. Very often that means adding levels of indirection, which humans are terrible at. And it means that every time someone looks at that code, it's harder to understand. So you, we should really try to restrain ourselves and not speculate about the future. When the new requirements come in, they'll tell us how we wish we'd written the code and we can do it then. While many issues in software are open to debate or come down to style and preference, the problems with OO and deep inheritance more specifically are not just anecdotal. They're backed up by research. For example, the CNK object-oriented metric suit includes the depth of inheritance tree metric, which states that the deeper a class is in the hierarchy, the more methods and variables it's likely to inherit, and therefore the more complex it becomes. Deep trees, then, are a signal of higher design complexity. So should we just avoid OO and inheritance altogether, then? Not exactly. The research suggests that a DAT of 5 or less is a healthy target. But that's not a hard rule. And here's a surprising finding. It's not the deepest classes that show the most bugs, but rather the ones in the middle of the hierarchy. Why? Because base classes and leaf classes tend to be referenced more often and are more familiar, so they carry lower fall proneness compared to those middle layers. So the takeaway is OO can absolutely be useful, but it's not without risk. At some point, the gains you get from reusability start to be outweighed by the heat to comprehension. And since the best way to reuse a component is to first understand it, too much abstraction actually makes reuse harder, not easier. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.